They're made out of meat. Meat? Meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We've picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels, and proved them all through. They're completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals? The messages to the stars? They use radio waves to talk. But signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're asking me to believe in sentient meat. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in the sector. And they're made out of meat. Maybe they're like the Ophelai. You know, a carbon-based intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope. They're born meat, and they die meat. We've studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what the lifespan of meat? Spare me. Okay, maybe they're only part meat. You know, like the Wedeli, a meathead with an electron plasma brain inside. Nope. We've thought of that. Since they do have meat heads, like the Wibble Eye. But I told you, we probed them. The meat all the way through. No brain? Oh, there's a brain, all right. It's just, the brain is made out of meat. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, what does the thinking? You're not understanding, are you? Your refusal to deal with what I'm telling you. The brain does the thinking. The meat. Thinking meat? You're asking me to believe in thinking meat? Yes. Thinking meat. Conscious meat. Loving meat. Dreaming meat. Meat is a whole deal. Are you beginning to get the picture, or do I need to start all over? Oh my god. You're serious, then. They're made out of meat. Thank you. Finally. Yes. They are indeed made out of meat. And they've been trying to get in touch with us for almost a hundred of their years. Oh my god. So what does this meat have in mind? First, it wants to talk to us. Then I imagine it wants to explore the universe. Contact other sentience, swap ideas and information, the usual. We're supposed to talk to meat. That's the idea. There's a messenger sending out by radio. Hello? Anyone out there? Anyone home? That sort of thing. They actually do talk then. They use words, ideas, concepts. Oh, yes. Except... They do it with meat. I thought you just told me they used radio. They do. But... What do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. You know the sound of a slap or meat flap? It makes a noise. They do that by flapping their meats together. They can even sing by squirting air through their meat. Oh my god, singing meat. This is altogether too much. So what do you advise? Officially or unofficially? Both. Officially, we are required of contact. Welcome to log in any and all sentience, races, or multi-beings in this quadrant of the universe. Without prejudice, fear, or favor. Unofficially, I advise we erase the records and forget the whole thing. I was hoping you would say that. It may seem harsh, but there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with meat? I agree, 100%. What's there to say? Hello, meat. How is it going? But will this work? I mean, how many planets are we dealing with here? Just one. They can travel to other planets in their special meat containers. 
but they can't live on them. And being meat, they can only travel through sea space, which limits them to the speed of light and makes the possibility of them ever making contact pretty slim. Infinitesimal, in fact. So we just pretend there's no one home in the universe? That's it. Cruel. But you said it yourself, who wants to meet meat? And the ones who have been aboard our vessels, the ones you probed, you sure they won't remember? They'll be considered crackpots if they do. We went through their heads and smoothed out their meat so that we are just a dream to them. A dream to meat? How strangely appropriate that we should be meat's dream. We marked the entire sector unoccupied. Good. Agreed officially and unofficially. Case closed. Any others? Anyone interesting on that side of the galaxy? Yes. A rather shy and sweet Hygiene Core Cluster Intelligence. In the class 9 star of 445 zone, we were in contact two galactic rotations ago. Wants to be friendly again. They always come round. Why not? Imagine how unbearably lonely and utterly cold the universe would be if one were all alone.